Saludos amigos de Sensational Sport, espero que se encuentren bien. I'm here with the vice president of Top Rank, Cole Moretti. Cole, what do you, uh, how do you feel today? Ah, uh, como si caballeros, bien en uh, San Juan, I love it. Yeah, you know? uh, that, is, that is not your first time here in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. honorary Boricua. <laughs> yeah. But I love Puerto Rico, absolutely. Uh, Cole, uh, WBO convention, 35 year. How does it mean for top rank uh, the 35 year of WBO? It's a it's a great honor to work with the WBO. Always, um, they are a fair organization. They understand boxing. They love boxing. Paco is a wonderful leader. Gustavo and everybody with the WBO. So we love to do fights with the WBO all the time. I have to to ask this. Uh, what do you think right now of the Puerto Rican talent? I think it's it's always there's always going to be plenty of Puerto Rican talent. Uh, Xander Zayas yeah. is sitting right there. Good one. He's probably the next one to rise to that level that we think. So there's always Puerto Rican fighters. We're always looking at Puerto Rico for talent and to develop them. We will do another uh, Puerto Rican Day weekend show this this year in New York. So uh, it, it'll continue to grow. For me, Miguel Cotto was the last great star of Puerto Rico. You think uh, Sander Saya have the... He, well, he has, the, he, yeah. has, he has the work ethic, yeah. which is the most important thing to reach that level. He understands it in and out of the ring. Uh, so our goal is to, you know, one day get to that level and he understands that process. And he's very younger and have a great talent. Yeah, he's, he's only 19, which yeah. is very difficult because you have to still develop him in the ring. But we love working with him and his team, so that is, would be the plan to go that route. Everybody talked about uh, what the boxer made, what the promoter made, but in your case, uh, what, what is your the most important thing uh, in your work by, by uh, vice president? I, I think you know the fighter has to want it, and, and the work ethic has yeah. to be there. So it has to fall on the fighter himself to want to be great. Once you have that, we can give him the support system around that to reach those levels. But as long as the fighter shows that dedication and everything, then I think that's what we do. I talked with a, a lot of person here at Top Rank. We need a, a, a make car here in Puerto Rico. We, 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 we need it. Yeah, no, we're, we're continuing to talk here. There's a lot yeah. of production issues that we're dealing with to try and figure it out. Yeah. You know, with, with shipping an HD truck and other things like that but if we can figure it out we'd love to do a show again in Puerto Rico we'll be back yeah uh, for you who is the the, the most important boxer uh, of Puerto Rico of all time in your opinion Tito Tito yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean I knew Tito and I came up watching Tito so I think that uh, you know there were there's so many great ones Cotto Tito Gomez, you know, uh, Camacho, uh, Carlos Ortiz, you know, on and on and on. But I love Tito. Uh, to end this interview, uh, I always say top rank is part of, of Puerto Rico. Uh, one a final message to all the fans in Puerto Rico that uh, are watching you Puerto right Rico, now. We, we love Boricuas both here in Puerto Rico and all over the United States. And we want to continue to grow the the Puerto Rican talent always. So buena suerte and, and always for Viva Puerto Rico. Thanks for your time. Anytime.